The Garner Complex fire is being called the number one fire in the nation from both ODF and Governor Kate Brown. Governor Brown in Southern Oregon today meeting with firefighters at the Fire Incident Command in Josephine County. NBC5's Amanda Rose joins us live in the studio with more on her visit. Amanda? Craig Christina, the governor thanked many different people and organizations, including firefighters, National Guard troops, and first responders for doing their part in protecting both people and property. She says she's doing everything in her power to make resources available to fight the Garner Complex fire and urge the public to be prepared and vigilant as this explosive start to fire season continues. Governor Kate Brown visited the Fire Incident Command in Josephine County Thursday. She met with firefighters and local government officials. Good afternoon, everyone. Addressing the 13 Fire Garner Complex in Jackson and Josephine counties, still burning strong at about 22,000 acres. I'm doing everything in my power as governor to make sure that all state resources are available to ensure that our crews on the ground have the tools that they need to fight this fire. She thanked firefighting agencies, National Guard troops, and first responders. They've been working on the ground very hard for a number of days now to protect property and most importantly, our people. With Oregon's fast start to fire season, Governor Brown says this summer will be a challenge. I'm asking all Oregonians to be prepared, uh, to be safe, to be smart and be vigilant. But she says she's doing everything in her power to help. It is the number one fire in the nation, so we'll certainly reach out should it get worse to our federal partners. Rob Allen, who's one of the unified incident commanders of the Garner Complex Fire, says state resources have been helpful. Having those resources here, being able to, to help out in the communities, would really stretch us thin from being able to focus on trying to get the wildland fire out. Allen says the Taylor Creek Fire, the largest fire in the Garner Complex, is still proving difficult for fire. Firefighters. We do have the potential today to have a couple of fires really stand up and maybe do something. If we get the opportunity to burn, we're going to try. Allen says they didn't get as many, as many burnouts done yesterday as they needed, but today the clear skies near the fires are the ideal condition for them to use aircraft, which he says will make a big difference. Live in studio, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.